Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Schlage 12-349. This is a, uh, a deadbolt uh, in a 613 finish, so it's a 12-349. This is a 5-inch back set, deadbolt only. Okay, the five inch is a reference from the edge of the door to the center of the hole, which in this case is to the center of where the tailpiece would come through the latch bolt, right in this area, five inch is what that uh, is classified as, okay? And the uh, face plate of the bolt itself is two and a quarter tall. It is inch and an eighth wide. And that's typical for a commercial application. Now this bolt, um, is certainly not uncommon. It is less common in the 21st century in terms of five inch back sets than it was in the mid 20th century uh, in terms of extended back sets. You often, very often, uh, will see homes built in the 1950s and 60s that will have greater back sets. And the reason is because it was very fashionable to use uh, really nice looking decorative escutcheons underneath the lock rosettes and you'd have all sorts of shapes and designs made by a variety of companies in fact i think and we have many uh schlage uh catalogs and other lock manufacturers catalogs from the mid 20th century and all these discussion plates were quite um quite popular and you'll see extended back sets and the back sets are longer so that you can fit the large plate onto the door not only five inch, but much greater than that. You know, you could very commonly see 12 inch. In fact, you'll even see lock preparations in the center of the width of the door. Let's say a three foot door would have an 18 inch back set. That's not uncommon as well. Uh, not unheard of, that's for sure. A lot of people made decorative plates for locks. And taking that very popular mid 20th century idea all the way up to today, uh, most recently, I had a client who has a home, mid-20th century on the West Coast, and uh, wanted to put on a modern electronic combination lock. And he says, I have this door. Can I email you photographs of which he did? And I will show you some of those photographs. But the client reached out and said, you know, my he's looking for a lock, um, wants electronic or with... Bluetooth or Wi-Fi control over it. Um, and I'm looking, scanning through this email from earlier this year. Um, and the problem was, the existing is a five inch back set. The problem is he has these beautiful Sapili mahogany doors. Um, Sapili is a, a species of, of, of mahogany. It's a, it's a, you know, a wood type. There's no option to change these doors that it's realistic. There's no option to re-drill these doors at all. And he said his locksmith just simply couldn't come up with an electronic deadbolt. Had a five inch back set. And the other thing was would uh, is that it would take his keyway that he wanted. He had a, has a Schlag keyway that he wants to preserve. And so I dug into it, contacted my um, internal uh, folks over at Schlage. And the 12-349 was found to be compatible with the BE-375. That is, of course, an electronic deadbolt by Schlage. This is also listed as compatible with the B-500 series, the B-60 series, the B-660 series, which means it's B-7 and 800 as well. Um, so this is used in lots of instances, um, is simply the bottom line. Uh, I followed up with the client after the installation was complete, um, and everything worked splendidly. This deadbolt operated perfectly with the BE-375. There is also a link to the template down below. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Let's switch to the screen view now, and let's dive into that information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is our item. Let's take a look at some photographs that we have. This is permissible for use on a fire door. It can be installed on a fire door. It doesn't make the door compliant as a fire door itself. It has to have self-latching hardware. 
but a deadbolt can be added, showing that throw there. I didn't give you that dimension, but that would be considered a one inch projection on the bolt itself. Showing the area where the tail piece or tail pieces would go through. Okay, now that client's doors, here it is. Five inch back set. That might, we might call that ribbon striped sapili. It's a species of mahogany, West Coast, California. Apparently, the outside, the exterior is painted. That's a shame. Certainly would have left all that <laughs> uh, natural, uh, just clear coated. So that's the problem there. That's what the client was faced with. That template that I mentioned is linked to down below as well. Here it is. This template will work for two and three eighths, two and three quarter. This dot here would be for three and three quarter, and then a five inch. And just be mindful that back set is measured. If you're drilling this um, hole, if you're drilling, doing a new installation, back set is actually an idea that requires a little bit of definition. Back set is the dimension from the edge of the door to the center of the hole. So the edge of the door to the center of the hole. This is a square edge door. That's rabbited, that's radiused, that's beveled. Five inch from the edge of the door here over is different than five inch here over compared to the opposite side here over and here over. Back set is measured from the center of the thickness of the door. So be mindful that if you're drilling this on a beveled edge door you'll want to compensate ever so slightly for that beveled edge, which is classified as 1 eighth inch for every 2 inches in door thickness. So if you've got an inch and 3 quarter thick door, the difference between here and here is going to be just less than an eighth of an inch. All right, now there is a link below this video as seen here to the manufacturer's page. Our 12-349 does not show up anywhere in the Schlage's commercial catalog, nor its price list. It does, however, in the residential price list. It just comes up as an entry in the price list so you know what the list price is. But there's no other documentation that I'm able to find regarding it, which is what, frankly, took reaching out to the factory to find out what, what it was. On this manufacturer's page, you can review not only all of the Schlage products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, there's also a link to the manufacturer's website here, as well as a link to that full commercial product catalog. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. While it may have been a bit of a chore to find this bolt, uh, because it's really it doesn't show up in, in published um, information beyond the price list. Um, what Schlage does very, very well is respond to technical uh, re inquiries. Uh, they're, they're, very, they're extremely good at it. And I initially told the client, I'm just simply not familiar with it. Uh, I don't know that there is an electronic combination lock that will work on a five inch back set. But then I thought to myself, well, knowing how popular of a lock manufacturer Schlage was in the 19 is, but most definitely were mid 20th century that led the way in all these beautiful knob and escutcheon designs and these added on decorative plates. I thought, boy, if anybody will have a product in the year 2021 that will allow someone to migrate or evolve from a 1959 installation of their own product line, It'll be Schlage, and if they're going to design an electronic deadbolt, they'll probably do it so that it will take their other existing bolts, and indeed that was the case. I was able to talk to my tech support rep who could confirm, yes, this 12-349 is going to work on that BE-375 electronic deadbolt. Brilliant move on their part. Uh, available in different finishes. Uh, it's not available in black, I don't think, or it wasn't when this client ordered it. All the hardware he ordered was black, but the face of that one latch bolt ended up shipping out in oil rubbed. But your brass, your bronze, your chrome, oil rubbed, 
bolts, things of that nature. Any questions on the 12-349 bolt or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.